So uh, I'm gonna throw a uh, tipo up the hum and uh, I'm gonna show you how I use my metal rib to get a nice curve when you're making a ball. Basically, when I'm throwing uh, small pieces, I use my left fingers to pinch the clay a lot, just by pinch, pinch, and getting the curve, getting a nice, uh, get it thinner. Okay, let me show you how I just use my one one hand, left hand to pinch. So the thumb and the uh, fingers go and pinch the clay. Basically, I pinch a lot while I'm throwing the little pieces. Okay, and uh, what my right hand is doing is just kind of uh, stabilize it, okay, to get a support of my left hand while I'm pinching. To get a support of my thumb. So this is the pinch. So after I have my roughly my rough shape and then I'm gonna use my metal root. So while I'm holding the rib, I'm not holding like this in the 90 degrees. I kind of hold it so that the uh, the rib the clay is kind of going pass through my, my rib so I can bend my rib into a different curve okay that's the the, the good reason of using the metal rib but of course you can use the rubber rib okay, the metal rib so this is how I do it um, metal rib and I use my thumb okay this is my thumb and kind of bend it okay bend it bend it so my thumb is bending on the inside of the rib and then my right hand, my left hand on the inside of the clay kind of push out the wall against the rib. Since my rib has a little curve so it will form a very nice curve. After I push my inside wall against the rib, that's how I shake my balls. push 
against my rib. And you can see that how how hard I bend my rib. Okay, I bend it. So the curve of the bow is following the shape I'm bending. And then for here, I will turn my uh, rib. First, I was using the uh, straight side of my rib. Now I'm going to use the curved side of my rib to take care of the, uh, the rib here. And again, um, also you, I would uh, push from the inside so that the clay wall is against the rib. If you don't like the line here, you can always remove it by simply push it a little bit harder from the inside and using the rib to remove it. Okay. So if you want to have a little line there, I'm just using the corner the straight side corner of my rib. So I have a line there. Um, just use the uh, chamois to smooth the rim. Um, for inside, if you like, uh, there's uh, if you like, have a little bit of a throwing mark, you can. Uh, Remove some of the slip from your finger and hold it on your fingertip and just go from the inside button so that you will have a throwing mark if you want to have a throwing mark. You can move your hand, move your finger quick. And then you, because the the, uh, the uh, slip, so you will have a little bit of a nice looking, very spontaneous throw mark on the inside of the, the bottom. That's the, uh, the curve I use the, uh, the metal rib. It's a really nice curve. Um, I just cut off the hum. I don't know if you can see it. The, uh, I was talking about the uh, slip, okay, the throwing mark on the inside button.